Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you a quick and easy modification that I made to the legs on my MSR Dragonfly stove. So just to set the stage a little bit, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with these isobutane stoves. Uh, they're available all over the place, inexpensive, lightweight, and uh, nest fairly easily and nicely into uh, a smaller pot. This happens to be the Toke 750 milliliter titanium. You take the stove off the top of the canister and uh, that's nice and compact. If you're not using a canister stove like that, you might be using something like this MSR Whisper Light. When you fold this guy up, it uh, nests quite nicely into a small pot or cup like this as well. Now the one drawback with the MSR Whisper Light is that a small pot like this, because of the shape and size of the pot supports, doesn't work really well on there. It tends to want to fall through. Now just back to the uh, MSR Dragonfly, uh, before a lot of us were using those, we were using a, an earlier MSR stove called the Dragonfly, and that's this guy right here. Uh, now if you own a Dragonfly, you might say, well that's not what mine looks like, it's got legs that are a lot bigger, and, and these are the, the three legs that originally came with this stove. Basically, they slid into the two channels, uh, or each leg slid into two channels on uh, one side of the stove. To get those off uh, it was fairly easy to just cut the couple of clips that were on the top of those and then they slid right out. If I want to put these legs back on it's easy to just slide them back into the channel so I really haven't damaged anything here. Uh, the drawback to these legs is that they're quite large and there's no way that even when they were folded up that you could get this stove into a, a small pot or cup. So what I did is uh, basically I went down to my Home Depot once again and grabbed a piece of 1 8 inch steel rod. And uh, I think the steel's going to uh, stand up fairly well to the heat. It's easy to work with. Uh, the only thing I'm not quite sure about is, uh, you know, the corrosion resistance. So time will tell on that. But basically what I did... Uh, grab some of that rod and, and you can see the simple bend that I put in there. Uh, it's three inches high. The foot is an inch here and it's, it's about a three, uh, three quarters of an inch uh, on the pot support. That simple kind of an S bend there. So there you go. Just fold that burner up and give the legs a little bit of a half turn here so that they fit inside the cup. And just fold in the, the fuel supply tube, and that will actually fit into a small cup like that. 